So preemptive analgesia has been an interest of mine for quite some time. Uh, there's little controversy in the literature as to whether or not giving a medicine beforehand prevents long-term pain, but if there's one thing we know for sure, if it's not preemptive, it's at least emptive analgesia, so to speak. Uh, so we like to give our pain medicines, medication, uh, our pain patients medications in advance. I've been preaching this to anesthesia groups and surgical groups around the country, that why let the brain and spinal cord release all of these, I'll call them toxic inflammatory mediators, to have a patient have pain, to try to take them out of, out of pain. You know, there's some animal studies, some rat data that suggests if you administer morphine to a rat prior to the painful stimulus, it takes one-tenth of the dose than it would if you shock the rat, give them pain, and then try to uh, capture their, their or, or treat their pain adequately. So we think humans are the same. Treating pain in advance, uh, there's a lot of logic to it. The one thing you can't do is just give one dose and hope it's going to last for days or, or weeks. You need to continue the dosing throughout the perioperative period. And I can tell you firsthand that treating patients with a combination of simple medicines like Tylenol, anti-inflammatory medicines like NSAIDs, and even opioids in the perioperative period and continuing that treatment for the first 48 to 72 hours, patients' pain scores are less, satisfaction scores are greater, they're discharged from the hospital earlier, they have earlier return of bowel function, and everyone's happy. So preemptive analgesia, although may be a controversial topic, reminds doctors that they should at least be treating pain aggressively in the perioperative period and hopefully starting before the surgical insult.